there, football fans. My name is Derek P. Fields, and welcome to the Gridiron Blitz. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we talk all things Detroit Lions. I am back with another mobile video, and it might be like this. A couple videos may be like this because you got to push through. You got to push through whatever the situation is when you have something to say. And I apologize again for the shaky cam. But I wanted to talk about this whole Jermaine curse is going to have to fight to make the team. Now, there's an article out from Dave Brickhead, as usual, and there's a video as well. So you can go check it out. Uh, they are talking about their takeaways from day one of training camp. I don't think Jermaine curse is going to have to fight as hard as you think or they think. His competition is Travis Fulgham. Brandon Powell, Dontrez Alexander, and Andy Jones. We know who the top three are that are a lock. Obviously, Marvin, Kenny, Danny. There's been a lot of debate on who number four and five are. Now, the Lions have been known to occasionally carry six wide receivers, but it does appear that they are going to carry a fullback on their roster this year. And if they do that, then I think that that'll take away from that fifth, that six, I'm sorry, that six wide receiver spot. With that being said, that only leaves five. I personally think that number four is going to be Jermaine Curse. I don't think that he has to fight as hard as these two gentlemen are making them seem. So I don't think that... It's going to be any problem for Jermaine Curse to make the team. With the fullback being on the team, most likely this year, and it does look like we, we might carry three to four tight ends, and the tight end that probably won't make it looks like it could be Nada. So that's crazy as well, but that's a whole different conversation. So my question to you guys is, do you believe that Jermaine Curse is going to have as hard as competition as the free press is making it seem. Now, they have the press passes and things like that, and they're there, and they can see things that we don't see. But I don't really believe that Matt Patricia is going to bring Jermaine Curse in. And I don't think he's going to give him a spot, but at the same time, he brought him in for a reason. And that reason was to make the team. And I think they think that he's pretty much a shoe in We know that Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn do not like to cut rookies. At the same time, I don't see them bringing in a guy that they're going to be like, oh, we just brought you in for competition, and then we're going to let you go. Not a guy like Jermaine Curse. Jermaine Curse has put up some numbers in his career, and I believe that he can do that here, especially as the number four. And with Chris Lacey being my original number five, and now he's he's hurt, it's going to be Travis Fulwell. So that's those are that's my prediction. The big three with the addition of Curse and Fulgham to complete the Lions' uh, wide receiver set to start the season. So I appreciate you guys rocking with me in my mobile studio. Sometimes you got to take the show on the road, man. You got to get things done. So I appreciate you guys rocking with me. And also stay tuned. We got more coming from the Sports Movement Network. It's myself, Mr. Troxel Sports Talk and Lions Breakdown Show. Their links should be in my description. Hopefully YouTube is not being ridiculous. With that being said, appreciate you guys. Might drop another video or two. So how'd your kids, how'd your wife? Cause I'm coming at your timeline. All right, fellas, ladies, I'll talk to you later. Derek is out y'all, peace. Holy grail.